welcome to the shop and today we're going to continue making this maxi CNC router uh, so today we're going to manufacture some of the parts to mount this beautiful gantry up onto the Y axis rails and throughout this build I am going to be using the sort of tools you will have access to at home. Not everybody will have access to welding equipment. All the plans are available on my Patreon pages, so you could just take those plans along to uh, any reasonable welding shop. They cut the material and weld this up in no time for you. And then the rest is not difficult uh, you just ha need to be able to to mark out and set a pop where the the drillings are and uh, a few minutes ago you saw me cutting out thick aluminium plate which uh, is actually a good wood saw you now the bl that blade on there is a tungsten carbide tipped blade you can't do it with an ordinary blade all right it's a fine blade and it's tungsten carbide tipped and if you're very careful you can cut aluminium uh, sheet or plate but I must stress you need to be extremely careful because it's not strictly the right tool for doing that job so throughout this build I'll be using the type of tools that you'll be using or you could use um, so for this I, I'm not even going to use my big pillar drill I am going to use a pretty I'll just grab it you know. now for drilling all my hole, holes in the aluminium plate material I'll be using this it's uh, it's actually the, the unit here the, the actual little pillar drill unit is a Bosch unit I've had it for about 35 40 years I think um, similar things like this are still available and this is just a standard fairly good metal geared all right not plastic metal geared uh, just ordinary electric drill and with this you can be fairly accurate if you're steady with it so all sort of hand, hand power tools that's what I mean that's what I'll be using I won't be using my C other CNC machines here because um, that's all too easy isn't it so here we go. Okay, if I can just demonstrate here, now this is for the Z axis actually, but I'm just using it here for a, dem for a demonstration purpose. Now, I'm going to mount the gantry on this very thick 2 inch by 1 inch aluminium bar. So that goes on here like this. And if you notice that the, the distance between where this finishes and where the cross member or the, the gantry member actually starts is very very small this eliminates any sideways flex and I'm using a 10 millimeter plate which is going to be the subject of what today's video um, and here are the two plates here and I've got them clamped together because I'm going to drill them together and uh, so 
I've eliminated the length of which you're relying on any plate material to remove the sideways flex out of the gantry. Okay, that'll pay off dividends, you know, sort of when I'm machining. Now, if you notice what I was doing there, that's a process called peck drilling. What I was going, I was going through about between a millimeter and two millimeters into the material, then withdrawing it. And what it does is it breaks off the swarf and cleans the hole out because, especially with aluminium, it can uh, grab and you can can end up snapping the tool off actually because this is like it's going through 20 millimeter thick of material. So uh, this is a, a four millimeter pilot hole at the moment. So uh, I'll drill pilot holes through these and then I'll be drilling a tapping size for M8s. Okay, so I've got my gantry side plates um, drilled through now. Now there's probably quite a bit of waste material up here and in this area here I'm going to uh, mount my stepper motor. Um, so I'm leaving this material blank here yet until I've got the linear rails on the gantry and then I can line it up and you know, get it perfect. Um, I did toy with the idea of putting the screw up on top of the uh, gantry um, out of the way of any dust, but I never really had any problem, uh, you know, with it, you know, in the middle front side uh, of the gantry. So I think that's where I'm going to put it, but not totally decided yet. But what I am going to do now is take off some of these you know this is just rough cut okay I mean it's perfectly square in that but it's still rough cut so I'm going to clean it up and take because it's still razor sharp okay so <clears throat> I don't have any soft jaws for this uh, particular voice so I've just put a rag in here just to hold it and you can either file this, but you know, to make the job easy for yourself, I've just got a, a rotary abrasive pad that does a pretty good job. So that's what we're going to do. Just show you the result of that. A lot better, and it's taken the taken the sharpness off it, off the edge, and it's made this a lot better. To a, you know, pretty well a finished part there.